up and at him. It's morning! Uh, good morning, Azure. Yeah, let's save and continue. Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky. Where last time we saved Splunk's Pearl, and uh, we got thanked with some good items. But we were kind of disappointed that the guild took most of the money. But we helped somebody, and that's what matters. But yes, we also got some items while we were at it. We got an iron, calcium, and a protein. These boost special attack, defense, and attack specifically. So if I want to boost my defense for any reason, I can give it to myself. And can I use it from here? I guess not. Okay then. Um, so yes, let's give that back. So those, yes, they boosted special attack, defense, and attack. Those are gonna be nice because we can actually use those. And three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Hooray! Oh, you two, still wandering around lost, it seems. Well, come with me. Huh? Last time we did a job, it was from the border on the other side. Correct. Today, you have to do a job listed on this side. How is it different from the border on the other side? Take a closer look. Hey, check it out, Azure. There are posters up here that show a variety of Pokemon. Ah, wow, they all look pretty cool. Are they famous explorers or something? Who are these Pokemon, Chita? Pokemon posted here are outlaws. They're all shady characters, and they're wanted for committing crimes. What? They're all wanted by the law. Correct. And so there are bounties on their heads. In other words, there's a cash reward if you capture one. There's so many aggressive Pokemon around these days that everyone's finding it hard to keep with the problem. Wait a second, you expect us to catch outlaws? No way, that's not possible. <laughs> Just joking. The bad Pokemon out there come in all shades of badness. Some of these Pokemon are completely wicked through and through. But they're also bad Pokemon they are merely pity thieves. They got evil to naughty and everything in between. So I'm sure we could avoid giving you a job to catching a super bad Pokemon. <laughs> look over these posters and pick a Pokemon that looks weak enough for you to bring to justice. Um, you say some are weak, but they're still bad Pokemon, aren't they? Characters like that weird me out. It's all part of your training. You'll work through it, I'm sure. But I suppose you do need to be prepared to confront a tough opponent. So I'll also give you a tour of the facilities. Hey, Badoof! Badoof? Yup, yup. <laughs> you called? Ah, Badoof. These are the new recruits that just joined us. Take them and show them around the town. Yes siree, by golly, I'll do just that, yup yup. This is Badoof, he's one of your fellow apprentices. I want you to pay attention to what Badoof has to say and follow his orders. Off you go! Oh shucks, I'm overjoyed. Why is that? I'm glad to have members junior to me, I'm almost overcome right now. I might just blubber with happiness! Before you all sign on, I was our most recent rookie. <laughs> well, I best show you around. Come with me, please. First things first. Here we have Krogunk. Tell the truth, I don't have any idea what that Pokemon's up to. You always seem to be fiddling around with that big culture back there. It's all Mr. and me, yup yup. Over this way is the mess hall. And if you look that way, you'll find the crew rooms. And this here leads to the Guildmaster's Chamber. Next, I'll guide you both around places outside the guild.
I hear you can make a record of your adventure at the watering hole. Usually, you make a record of your adventure by going to your bed at the guild, yup yup. Seems you can record... You can make a record of your adventure over there, too. By golly, it's a handy spot when you want to record your adventure frequently. And this is the main square for the local Pokemon. It's called the Treasure Town. Oh, I can tell you about Treasure Town, too. That place is Duskull Bank. We can save our money there. And that over there is Electrovire Link Shop. That's where you can do things like Link moves together, but I guess he's not around today. This is the Kelsleon Market. You can buy and sell items here. This is Kangaskhan Storage. Items stored here will never be lost. You have precious items that you can't afford to lose, store them here before you go on an adventure. Those are the basics for exploration teams. That about covers it, I guess. You sure know a lot! Yes sirree, and that's good to know! Alright then, come find me when you're all ready to go. I'll give you a helping hand with selecting the right outlaw for you. Thanks, Bidoof. You've been really nice about this. Oh, golly, you're embarrassing me. Oh, shucks. I'll be running at the guild's upper... Wow. I'll be waiting at the guild's upper underground floor for you. That's so confusing. It's like upper under... Upper under... <laughs> Alright, let's go. I need to see what kinds of items are available. Let's go to the Kelsleyon Market. Before we head back, visit to the Kelsleyon Market is a must. Alright, so let's head right there. Should be right over here. Not a big deal. Here we go. Welcome to the Kelsleyon Shop. Okay, let's see. What do we got? We got pebbles, apples, a sky gummy, which raises IQ. That costs a lot of money and we can't afford it, so we're not gonna even bother. And that's all this they got here. So if we want, we could also sell things. Which, um... Let's get rid of that Oren Berry, shall we? Because we don't know what it does, and it's kind of... Kind of dubious. And if we want to sell more than one item at a time, we just tap L. And we sell them, like that. And so we get our money like that. Mr. Kelsleyon! Ah, little Mario Lazarul! Welcome, my young friends! Hello, may I buy an apple? Oh, most certainly! Thank you, Mr. Kelsleyon! No, thank you, my young friends, you are to be admired! You see, those delightful children are brothers! Lately, their poor mother has fallen sick, so those young just come to do their shopping for her. Quite remarkable, though very young, they stepped up and taken charge. Mistress Kelsleyon! What's the hurry? What makes you return in such a rush? There was an extra apple! We didn't pay for this many. Oh yes, that, my young friends, is the gift from me and my brother. Please share it amongst yourselves and do enjoy. Really? Yay! Thank you, Mr. Kelsleyon and Mr. Kelsleyon! Oh, not to worry, my friends. Do take care on your way home. Ouch! We're sorry to bother you. Thank you so much. Uh huh? What was that? Dizzy? Or am I? Help! <laughs> what was that? I'm sure I heard a shout for help just now. <laughs> that shout come from you? Is something the matter? Hey, Azrael. What's going on? Hurry home. Yep, I'm coming. Wait up. Are you alright? Yep. Done for shopping. Now we gotta look for an item we've lost. Let's get going. Yep, I'm coming. Ha! Those little guys are cute. 
Huh? What's wrong, Azure? Did I hear a shout for help just then? Uh, no, I didn't hear anything like that. Uh, Kelsleon brothers, did you hear anything strange just a moment ago? No, nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't hear anything odd either. See, the Kelsleon brothers didn't hear anything like that either. Probably just imagined it. No, I'm positive I didn't imagine it. I definitely heard it. Chat I heard. Help! There's no mistaking it. It was Azeroth's scream. Uh, are you daydreaming? Let's go already. We can also talk to this one here, and we can buy orbs and TMs. Like I was going to do before that story scene interrupted me. There is nothing. I'm not even going to bother. So yes, if I want to store anything, I could go here and I could store, which I'm going to. Let's see. Hey, what's that about? Yay! Thank you. Please, it's nothing. What's going on? Oh, hi! Some time ago, we lost an item that's pretty important to us. We're looking all over, but we haven't found it yet. Then Mr. Drowsy came along. He says he may have seen our lost item somewhere. He even offered to help us look for it. We're so happy about this. Awesome, that's great for you. Thank you, Mr. Drowsy. Oh, please. I'd had to have a cold heart to ignore kids in need. I can't turn a blind eye. Let's be on our way to begin our search. Yep. Yep. Whoops, excuse me. Eh. What is this? That Drowsy is sure a nice Pokemon. You've got to admire that. With more and more bad Pokemon around, it's hard to do good deeds. It's happening again. <laughs> Another dizzy spell. If you keep being difficult, it'll mean big trouble for you. Help! What was that? I sure hope those kids find their items soon. Huh? What's up, Azure? What's up with that grim look? Hmm? You want to tell me something? What? You had a dizzy spell? And you saw Azrael being threatened by Drowsy? So you want to go and rescue Azrael right away? It's an emergency. Well, what you described does sound like an emergency, but... Well, it's not like I don't trust you, Azure, but... I just can't believe it. I mean, Drowsy looked like an honestly nice Pokemon, didn't he? I watched the three of them go off earlier. They looked like they were having a good time, didn't they? You're probably just tired. Maybe that's why you had the bad daydream. Was that it? Just a bad daydream. Come to think of it, Drowsy didn't seem like a bad Pokemon. Anyway, we're only apprentices. We just can't go running off on our own. Sure, it's worrying, but we have to focus on our guild work for now. Let's get ready to explore, then meet up with Bidoof. Bidoof said he'd be waiting for us at the guild's upper underground floor. Got it right that time. Let's get to it, Azure. All right, let's store our money because I don't want to lose any of this money here. All right, Bidoof. Huh? Are you folks all set and ready for some exploring? Oh, yes siree, reckon you're all ready. Let's pick ourselves a lawbreaker for you to find. What do you got your pick of this sorry bunch of characters? Let's see, which should we pick? Hmm, <laughs> as your mentor, how about I do the choosing? Don't pick that one, that looks scary. Yes siree, I hear you. Let's see, eeny meeny. Stand clear, updating listings. Stand clear, updating listings. What's that? What's happening? Oh, the data's getting updated. It's being updated. Yikes, did you see that? The panel flipped over. 
What's going on here? Now, a lot nose board and job bolting board are set up on revolving panels. While the panel is flipped over, a Pokemon named Jugdrio swaps out the old jobs with new ones. Jugdrio? Updating data is Dugdrio's duty. He tunnels his way into our guild. Then he flips the panel and updates the data. This duty doesn't get noticed much, but it's very important, yup yup. That's why Dugdrio takes a great pride in duty he does. Oh, is that so? Update completed, stand clear. Update completed, stand clear. Oh, looks like he's done. Yes siree, the data is updated. List of outlaws have been refreshed, so let's pick one. Huh? What's ailing you? Why are you shivering all of a sudden? It's not cold here after all. Take a look at this, Azure! Up top, on the left. It's Drowsy. He, he's a wanted criminal. We have to get moving. Azra will be in serious trouble. Now, what's going on? Where are you all off to? Hey, there's Meryl. Meryl, what's wrong? Where are Azra and Drowsy? Yes, about them. After we all left, we went looking for our lost item together. I wound up all alone when Mr. Drowsy went somewhere of Azrael. I called and called, but they didn't come back. I got scared. So which way did they go? Th that way. You sure Drowsy and Azrael went off in this direction? Yes. Oh, Azure, the Drowsy and Azrael you saw in your dream. You said you saw them in a mountainous place, right? I think the two of them are up ahead here. Let's roll, Azure. Quick! Alright, wow. <laughs> okay, um, let's, um, get some experience while I'm at it on this floor. Let me get to the stairs, because what's gonna happen me do this here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use ancient power okay never mind I'm ow and I'm gonna swap over to uh, tackle then me try to get uh, munchlax in there munchlax help me okay there we go that'll work so what I'm gonna do okay like I said what I'm going to do is okay So what Del Duo is doing, he's basically flame because he has like, he has so little HP that pretty much one blow would just get rid of him immediately. What I attempted to do was I wanted to get on the stairs in case it got hairy and then I could just go up the stairs and then I could recover on the next floor. I won't need that anymore because Del Duo is fleeing so I can sit there and just get my health back. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, there's another enemy right there. Let's turn around. Okay, he's running away. <laughs> nope, another enemy that way. Alright, that's about as much as I'm getting here. So I'm gonna keep going up. I'm gonna keep going up. <laughs> uh, I need to, uh, we need to rescue Azrael because Drowsy is a wanted criminal. It's a step up from uh, rescue teaming. It essentially is rescue team, except it's uh, more dangerous than expected because they're actually wanted criminals. I mean, they probably would have been in the first game had they um, had a board like that, but they didn't, so. More power to them, I guess. It's not an Oren Berry, it's an Oran Berry, so we're good. Let's find us our stairs, there they are. Since we're in the beginning of the game, the dungeons aren't going to be that complicated. You can tell by the big rooms that we got going on, but eventually they start getting like winding hallways and such. So I can sit here and just kind of like spam going up the stairs if it felt like it, but I would probably be best off getting more experience as I go as well. 
really wish Munchlax had a move that can get around corners, but he doesn't. Oh, well. Not like I can do anything about it. Okay, he has Quick Attack, which Quick Attack does reach across two panels. Okay, so what he did, he got rid of my attack, right? He, like, lowered it a little bit. So I can do that, I can get rid of it if I felt like it. But I'm just gonna proceed. Proceeding upstairs also gets rid of your stat debuffs. And your stat buffs, too. So pretty much if you wanna keep stat buffs, you need to keep more PP for the moves that you want for those. Speaking of stuff going up. Wow, that was a lot of experience. Speaking of stuff going up, we still have this calcium, iron, this protein. So, since I'm mostly in the front, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna ingest that, and get a boosted attack. That didn't really tell me how much I got, but since I'm also in the front, I'm going to boost that as well. And then, with Calcium, I'm going to give that to Munchlax. There we go, now special attack's boosted. Since he has Zen Headbutt, and I believe that might use special attack, I don't know. Um, Again, I'm not the perfect master of Pokemon. I think I stated this in my Leaf Green playthrough a while back. That I, I don't know what half of this stuff even is sometimes. Let's see. In the case of this, I'm going to have Munchlax eat that. That way it will increase his IQ. And his attack also went up by one. Sometimes they get extra little stat boots like that. So, if you have a bunch of gummies, you can sit there and keep raising your Pokemon stats. But, let's see, what did we learn here? Amnesia. Boosts the use of special defense by two levels. And this is just defense, right? Yes. So, if I want to, I can boost his special defense, or I can boost his defense. Um, he's not in the front that often. So I'm gonna have him forget defense curl, because... Amnesia will boost his special defense by two levels. Yeah, level it up! And he has a lot more HP than I do, so he can definitely withstand some attacks. So we're not too worried. Thankfully, this, uh... The earlier dungeons aren't that many floors, but since... Let's see, let's check. 378, and in his case... 531. So if we wanted to, I could sit there and kind of grind off Pokemon. If I felt like it. I know what this sleeps he does. I swear you told me this already. Um, yes, as I said, sleep seed. No, actually, I probably told you guys first. A sleep seed, what it does is if you throw it, you um, put a Pokemon in sleep. If they don't catch it or if it misses, of course. Like, it has to hit them. I don't have moves that will hit him that well. But there's Geo Pebbles. I didn't actually do this last time. I have 10 of these. What I could do is I could actually set these, so I can hold L and press R to throw one of them if I felt like. So if I don't have moves, I can hit certain things, and they're far away, right? So he's like right over there, so I can hold L and throw it. There we go, I did 10 damage, and he was nowhere near me. And then he gets a little bit closer, he takes some damage, and then Munchlax does that headbutt and beats him. So it's a little help, so if you have those on you, it will definitely help you beat Pokemon a lot quicker than necessary. And in situations like this, when he's a little bit too far away for me to get to in time, I can sit there and throw that. And if they're around a the corner, I can't necessarily hit them. But they can hit me. <laughs> and let's see. I can also throw over my partner if I felt like it as well. Let's grab some money while we're at it. We gotta find our way around anyway, so I might as well pick up anything and everything I find. But I also gotta be careful because if I... What's this? A roll call orb. Roll call orb. That... Basically, to draw all team members to me, so... If I say, like, had Munchlax, like, get stuck on a corner or something because his IQ wasn't following me properly, I can basically just bring him right back. There are times where you want them to be further away from you, and then there's times that you don't. It just depends on how you want your setup. So in this situation, Munchlax is doing absolutely nothing. So I can have him do this, and then on his next turn, you'll be able to attack. But I can throw this and hit it, 
the duo move forward or not move forward the duo there you go I missed okay that happened all right so while he's wrapped I can throw rocks and then Munchlax is gonna do nothing there we go now he's gonna run away but the nice thing is I can throw this and hit him there we go so I hit him while farther away and I get some decent amount of experience for doing so and on the map here, you can see that there's three dots, there's three enemies, and they're all in my view now, so it's not a big deal. But before, I couldn't necessarily see them. But it helped out since I could see them on the map beforehand. So if you want to, like, not be in an area where you're like, oh, hey, I'm going to get attacked like crazy, you can try to move away from it. Wow. Okay. All right, we got takedown. Let's see, takedown inflicts damage on the target, but it also hurts me. That is dumb. I hate moves like that. It's nice, but I don't need it. All right, and there's that. So let's see here. We're doing good so far. There's nothing going on. There's an enemy over there. He's way far out of the way. So I can throw this at him and get a few little cheap shots off. Before he even gets to me, right? And there we go. You throw an XIC to a tough enemy, make it dizzy and behave strangely, but don't eat it yourself. Essentially, I believe that'll make you confused, which I don't know why it's just not called like confused seed or something like that to make it simple. Then you just escape orb. You can use those to escape from dungeons if you really, really are desperate and you want to get out of an area. Say if it's a dungeon with a lot of floors and you don't necessarily know that and you're not prepared for it. Instead of losing, you could use an escape orb and you can get out of the dungeon without losing any items. Our money. Since Sky doesn't make you lose as much money or items, it's not as useful, but there's definitely a lot of times when you'll definitely want it. Yeah, love it up. All right, hello. Cheap shot, and cheap shot, and then ancient power. I missed, okay, let's try that again. Okay, I'm at double speed, so this might be a little bit annoying because what happens is I can move two spaces before Munchalax can even move one. So he's not gonna be near me, so if I want him to get him close, I could do that. And I think I'm out of rocks. Yes, I'm out of rocks, so I can't necessarily do that tactic anymore. So let's head this way. This way will definitely be useful. Okay. Then Orenberry. Again, I don't know if that will be useful for me or not. Before I proceed, there's one more enemy I could defeat if I felt like, which I'm going to do. Oh, I'm poisoned. Poison is kind of forgiving it does a lot of damage when you're moving around but if you have a pekka berry you can get rid of it or if you just go upstairs it's gone uh-oh it's a dead end excuse me mr drowsy where is my lost item can you show me where the item is now sorry kiddo your lost item it's not here that's for sure huh my big brother. My big brother's following us, right? He's coming soon? Nope, your big brother's not coming. I'll show you in a little secret. This was all a trick. I deceived you. Huh? But let's not dwell on that. There's a little favor I need to ask. See that hole behind you? Well, there's rumored that there's a trove of thief treasure inside there. But as you can see, I'm too big to score my way through that hole. And that's where you come in. Don't worry, just do as I say. Do that, and it'll help you get back out of there. But, but... Go on, get going. Go into that hole, and don't forget to bring back the treasure. I want my big brother. Hey, stop that. Sheesh, I said that I'll take you home when you're done. If you keep being difficult, it'll mean big trouble for you. Help! Stop right there. Uh, 
We won't let you do that. Drowsy, you bully. How did you find this place? We're team seekers. An exploration team. No criminal can escape us. An exploration team? You came in the upper hen? Huh? Are you trembling? Haha, <laughs> I figured it out. You say you're an exploration team, but you're total rookies. Eh. <laughs> That's right, I'm a wanted Pokemon with a bounty on my head. But can the two of you do the job? Can you confront this outlaw and bring him to justice? Eh. Y yes, we can. Yes, we can. We never lose to a bad guy like you. <laughs> I've been chased by all sorts of exploration teams in my day. But never a sorrier looking bunch than you two. Ugh. This should be a laugh. Let's see if you can take me down. Show me what you got. Alright, we shall do that. We're in a bad situation because Munchlax is over there. Drowsy's up there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to lead him to us. Like that. Perfect. And we have full PP for everything, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna starve ancient power. See if I can get some stat up from that. I did not. Okay. I'm fine with that, because that didn't do anything to me. And I'm not confused, so that didn't do anything to me either, so we're good. Okay. Munchlax, uh, you're not being too useful. <laughs> okay. Took 18 damage. I gotta watch out. Because he's sleeping. Okay, he's recovered from paralysis, but he's sleeping. And I'm also sleeping. Great. And I'm already asleep. Munchlax woke up, and he's gonna help me. And I'm still sleeping. Munchlax, can you, like, wake me up or something? There we go. I'm awake. So what I can do is I can raise my defense or something. I could probably use Ancient Power one more time. There we go. <laughs> we came to rescue you. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. Awesome, that's a big relief. Big brother's waiting. Let's get you home. Okay. I'm Magnazone, the primary officer in this region. <laughs> Thanks to you, we have been able to arrest a wanted outlaw. Zzz. Zzz. We owe you a great thanks for your cooperation. Zzz. Zzz. We'll send the reward to your guild. Thank you again. Zzz. Zzz. Now come with us. Zzz. Oh. Azrael. Meryl, it was so scary. You okay, Azrael? Are you hurt? He's fine. The little guy's not hurt at all. Really? That's a relief. Oh, Azrael. Azrael. I'm really glad for you guys. This is all for us, Munchlax and Azure. You don't forget what you did for us. Thank you so much. Come on, Azrael. You too. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you for rescuing me. Really, really, thank you. They sent us a message. In a large treasure bag. Now carry more items than we could before. Wait, there's one more message. Special episode, Badoof's Wish has been unlocked. To play the special episode, select from the episode list on the top menu. If you'd like to play a special episode, save your adventure progress and return to the top menu. I've gotten the bounty from Officer Magnazone for that captured outlaw. Well done, you two. Here's your share for the job. It's yours to keep. You're just giving me 300 from the Gego. Huh? We only get this much? After all that hard work. But of course, it's all part of the training. We expect just as much effort tomorrow. 
You know, it would make me a little happier if our share was just a little bigger. But that's okay. You managed to rescue Azrael. It's all thanks to you, Azure. Because you had that dream. Well, we knew about Azure's trouble in advance. It's true. I can't explain it, but that first shot I heard from Azrael. Help! And that dream I had. If you keep being difficult, it'll mean big trouble for you. Help! What were these events? They took place in the future. I wasn't able to see something like that. What was that dream about? Whoops, my stomach growled. <laughs> Your stomach growled too, Azure. Guess we must be starved. We are so focused on rescuing Azrael, I didn't notice at all. And now I'm even hungrier. Let's go get dinner, Azure. Whoa, that lightning's intense! Looks like it's really a stormy tonight. Wait a second. You know the night before we met, Azure. It was storming that night. I found you out cold on the beach the day after that stormy night. Remember why you were out cold on the beach? Do you remember anything at all? I wonder. Hmm. There was a storm, but how did I end up unconscious there? Nope, can't remember a thing. I guess it won't be that easy. That's alright, just try remembering a little at a time. We have to get up early again tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Hey, Azure. Are you still awake, Azure? I've been thinking about this since it happened. That weird dream you had. Maybe it has to do with you personally. Huh? Just a feeling I get. I sure don't know any other fanfic who dreams about the future. I've never heard of a human suddenly turning into a Pokemon either. That's why I think those two events are connected. I just can't shake that feeling. The key to unlocking my memory. Is it in that dream? Even if that were true, that doesn't relate to anything else. I don't know what you're like as a human, Azure. I'm sure you were a good person. I mean, it was because of your dream that we were able to catch that bad Pokemon. Bad Pokemon, huh? That reminds me of what Chatot said. The growing number of bad Pokemon has been caused by time going out of whack. You know, time is getting messed up bit by bit all over the world. No one seems to know why, but everyone believes that the time gears are somehow involved. Huh? Time Gears? They say Time Gears are hidden in secret places around the world. Like in a forest. Or in a lake in an underground cavern. I even heard that there's a hidden one inside a volcano. At the center of such places is what's known as a Time Gear. Time Gear serves a very important function. Each one protects time and keeps time flowing properly in its region. But what happens if a region loses its time gear? I don't really know the answer to that question. But my guess is that if time gear is removed from a region, the flow of time in that region will probably stop too. That's why everyone makes sure never to disturb the time gears. Everyone has long been certain that some kind of disaster would strike. So everyone stays away from the time gears and doesn't tamper with them. Even the most hardened criminal Pokemon know to avoid messing with them. 
Did my eyes deceive me? Could it be? Yes, it is. I finally found it! A time gear! But... This is only the first of many. The next morning... Up and at him! It's morning! Uh, good morning, Azure. So, after that, we saved Azrael and we found out about the Time Gears. But what's going on with that mysterious Pokemon that's trying to steal the Time Gears? Next time on Azure Plays, we might find out more. See you guys then.